changing season, it's really important to change your beauty products. A lot of us get in a beauty rut and keep using the same products day in, season in, season out, year in, year out. It's not a good idea because your body needs different things as the weather changes. So we're going into autumn now and the most important thing about autumn is to rehydrate and kind of fix some of the stuff that happened in summer. Now, I don't know about you, but I did so much sport this summer. I spent so much time at the beach that my hair's really dry, my skin's really dry. And I'll give you a, a bit of a, um, an insider tip on spray tan, on, on self tan. And that is that if you use a lot of it, which I do, your skin gets super dehydrated and you see it around your nails and particularly around your feet. So right now is the time to really focus on those areas and rehydrate so you are looking at your absolute tip top best going forward um, so when winter comes. So the first thing to do to rehydrate is to exfoliate your skin. I've discovered this really cool product from Frank and this is actually a coffee scrub. So coffee's got some really amazing, powerful, uh, powerful uh, consequences for the body, and one of them is that it helps reduce cellulite. Some studies have shown that. And it certainly does help reduce you know, excess skin, it helps um, exfoliate, and it smells great in the shower. So this has some coffee in it. So basically what you do is jump in the shower or the bath, get two small handfuls of this and rub it into your body. It really does exfoliate, gets rid of all of that dead skin. I'll be doing that a couple of times a week at the moment, going into autumn, to really get rid of all the dead skin and start to rehydrate yourself. Now the other thing that I do in the shower going into a new season is I buy a new shower gel. Reason? Just gives me a new lease on life. It gives me a bit of zest, a bit of new energy and I've discovered this awesome one by Philosophy. They've got heaps of great shower gels and you can also use these as a shampoo or a bubble bath so they do go a long way. This one is a bit quirky. It's called Cinnamon Buns and it has the recipe for cinnamon buns on the front and I guarantee you I use this the whole house smells like cinnamon. The kids are like what's cooking, what's cooking? It's like no it's the shower gel. So it is a bit quirky. Some people do or don't like that kind of thing. I really like it for this um, change of season. And then after your shower, you will want to be moisturizing as much as possible. Now, changing your facial moisturizer is a critical one. I'm really into Biofem's Aquasource. It gives you 48 hours of moisture. This is brilliant when you're traveling and going on the plane because the plane just sucks the moisture out of your skin as does summer, so I would be really investing in this or something that really works for your skin that really infuses moisture. This one's good for me because I have oily skin. I can never use something too heavy, but if you have dry skin, go as heavy as you can and use that product during autumn and put the summer product to one side because you can use it again next season. The other thing for your face that I would look at doing is changing your cleanser. During um, summer, I tend to use uh, gel cleansers that are quite strong and they really do get the makeup and the sweat off and get into my pores. But I find that as the weather changes, they're a bit too strong and a bit too drying and I can get excess oil, which doesn't work. This one um, by Napoleon is a marshmallow foam. So you just pump it out, it comes out in a foam ball. It smells great, it's easy to use, it gets rid of my makeup, but it doesn't sort of strip it in the same way that those gel cleansers do that I use in summer. So again, put them to one side in the cupboard. Um, the other facial moisturizer that I'm also enjoying at the moment is Neutrogena's Hydra Boost Water Gel. Again, because I have that oily T-zone, the gel products work better for me, and this is a really easy to dispense product. It's light on the skin, it absorbs quickly. That's the other issue I find, I'm really busy. I'm getting my twins out of bed, I'm getting ready for work, I'm making breakfast, and often I just don't have a lot of time to apply my makeup. So I need that moisturizer that just, moisturizer that just bang, infuses into my skin, it's matte, and I can apply the makeup without having to sit around and wait, who's got time? So this product, as well as the other one that I showed you by Biofirm, are both really good for that situation. Now the other product that I would consider having in your handbag is Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I've talked about this before, it was originally made for horses hooves, turns out it's fantastic for just about everything on our body from dry elbows to around your cuticles to on your lips to under your eyes to almost anything great for your children if they get a scratch, all of that. And at this time of year, I do find sometimes that I just get cracked lips for no reason, particularly if I'm working inside, as the weather gets cooler and people start using heaters, it just doesn't really work for my skin. And this in my handbag can save me, especially if I'm going out that night, I've got a special date or something, someone I'm meeting and I want to look my absolute best. Now the other thing in autumn is you need to change your um, lip colour, you need to change your nail colour. Now this one, my friend Sarah, who's very blonde, got me into this. It's mint julep by Napoleon and I think this is a fantastic colour going into winter, going into autumn. It's bright, it's happy, it's fun and it's just a little bit fresh because um, I don't want to get too weighed out by the plum colours yet because we're only in autumn, it's a bit too soon. Um, the other um, products that I wanted to show you are for your hair. 
Now, I know you're probably going to laugh, um, but I am really into Johnson's No More Tangles. Yes, my daughter Stella, who's seven, got me into it. She has super curly hair, so it really helps um, to comb her hair and get all the knots out. But I find it's great for me too, because I just don't want any more damage. My hair is so split at the moment because of all the swimming I did in summer. And this, um, you know, before a shower can mean that when I put the shampoo in, it just doesn't knot up quite as much. If I'm coming out of the shower and my hair's really knotty, it's really great. And if I am doing any sport, um, which I'm still doing even through autumn, this is really great to put on the ends just to try to make sure that they don't get too knotty and too caught up with each other. So as well as your shower gel, the other thing that I would look at doing is getting a fresh shampoo and conditioner once your old ones run out. The point is just to change the products so you're using something different and infusing some new products into your hair. As I said, my hair is super dry and L'Oreal make amazing products for, for the whole body really, but I have very thin hair and particularly at this time of year, so Volume Expand works for me. There's a shampoo and conditioner, it smells great, it works. Yes, it's expensive, but you don't need to use a lot. A lot of people overuse shampoo and they pour out these huge, huge um, you know, mounds of shampoo. No, I'm talking a 20 cent coin, maybe a 50 cent coin, but that's it. And I try and lather it between my hands before I put it through my hair so that, that product goes as long as possible. With the conditioner, same thing applies. I would say maybe two 50 cent coins for hair my length, and I'm only putting it in the ends. I am not putting conditioner up here because that is encouraging oil. That means I'm going to wash my hair more. That means I'm going to use more products. That means I could potentially damage my hair more. In terms of how often you should wash your hair in autumn, GI get asked this a lot. It's a very personal question. I'm moving away from washing my hair every two days to every three or four, mainly because I'm doing so much sport and mainly because I'm just trying to get my hair that little bit stronger and um, just make it look better. And I find that the more the natural oils go through my hair, the better it starts to look. So look, there's just a few autumn beauty tips. We'll be bringing you lots more as the weather changes and we'd love to hear yours. So please pop them in the comment box below and tell us about the products you're enjoying right now. Happy autumn, guys. I'm here with Alison Morgan from Relauncher. Now she's a fabulous Sydney girl who helps people who have businesses in the health and wellness sector to be successful. So tell us what it takes to, to have a successful business in this space. 